and the Colts in week 15 are victorious. They knock off the Dallas Cowboys 23 to nothing at Lucas Oil Stadium. Goose egg! Goose egg! Goose egg! But I see a zero out there. In the- <laughs> We're not done, man. We got a lot of work to go, right? We got to get ready, right? We got to keep going in this direction right here. We said we're talking climbing that mountain, and we're we're near the top. We're starting to climb that mountain. We're getting near the end of it, and that's where the most difficult climb is. So let's keep working, keep getting better, and keep fighting. From the Huntington Bank Studio, this is Colts 365. There is nothing better than Christmas music. Christmas music. And then you add on to that celebrating this past weekend's uh, yeah. shutout of the Dallas Cowboys. Dominant. And you know it's always fun when your team becomes a bit of an internet meme in a good way. In a great uh, way. Because there were so many memes out there of the goose egg or zero. Like, so th- yeah. that's always fun. <laughs> it has been fun all week celebrating that win against the Dallas Cowboys. I'm Caroline Can. Joined by Marlon Jackson, but the Colts have a big test coming up this week uh, because there's a team coming in here that really has nothing to play for except to play spoiler. And, and they're, they're playing much better. I mean, out of the last six games, they've won four of those games, the New York Giants. And there's a lot of talent on, yeah. on the roster. You know, it has Saquon Barkley, arguably the best running back in the National Football League. Even though he's a rookie, yeah. he's extremely talented. Odell Beckham. Um, Eli Manning, saying that right now doesn't seem that scary, but you know, his history, Eli Manning, yep. still a capable quarterback, but has a problem turning the football over. It's going to be a good test for us to see really for me to see if we can focus yeah. and take care of the games that we need to take care of and, c- and continue to push forward to the playoffs. Well, you mentioned Eli Manning. The last time that he was in Lucas Oil Stadium was back in 2012, and he just so happened to win a Super Bowl um, on that oh, trip okay. here. So he, so he may be comfortable Exactly. Here. When he's coming yeah. back here, it may bring up some memories of that game beating the Patriots there. But uh, when you look at this Giants team, you said it's all about the Colts kind of taking care of their business, yep. of making sure that they stay alive. What's the mentality after, you know, head coach Frank Reich said, all right, it's going to be this 4-0 approach, uh, but it's going to be that 1-0 process of getting Exactly, there. that 1-0 process, one week at a time. And really, this is, this is going to be a test to see if we actually have that mindset. Are we, not, are we looking past the Giants and looking on to the yeah. next opponent? You know, because that's how you trip and fall and you, you know, end up out of the playoffs. It's a one-game season each and every week now. And if we want to get in the playoffs, we, we must win out. And this, it starts on Sunday. Well, you said it best right there. We talk about it every single week, but the Colts have put themselves in a situation where it is a playoff every single week if they even want to see the postseason. Lock in. Lock in on the New York Giants and and everything that it takes to, to win a game in this league. That's every week. Every day you take it one day at a time. Let's get 1% better. Let's lock in, keep building, stacking those days, and then take it to the field on Sunday. Well, when the Colts and Giants take the field this weekend, there are going to be five Pro Bowl players on right. the field. Okay, the Colts, they have two of those. The Giants have three. So let's talk Colts here for a minute. I think the two that got in were the no-brainers. They were yeah. the for sure players that had to get in, but we're going to talk about maybe a couple that made us kind of scratch our heads. Yeah, they were, and there were, there a were quite bit. a few. And, and I would say not even us, scratches. but everyone everybody, around the NFL. Everybody, people that just everybody. tune in every now and then. But let's start with the two that did make the Pro Bowl, and that is tight end Eric Ebron and then offensive lineman Quentin Nelson. Not a bad nod as a rookie. Oh, I mean, awesome. I mean, and I, I think, you know, it's, it's crazy, but for him, it was kind of the expectation. Like, you know, there was. was so much hype around him, uh, one of the best offensive linemen, draft picks ever yeah. in the NFL draft. And all he's come in here and done is lived up to the hype. And that's an impressive thing to do. You have all that pressure, all that hype surrounding you, and you actually step up and you meet the expectations and really in some ways kind of exceed the expectations, yeah. you know, not just as an individual, but how he's upgraded and uplifting the entire offensive line. And now we see our quarterback is protected, right? Yeah. Our running back, you know, having great games, 150 plus, 130 plus yards yeah. last game for Marlon Mack, you know, and it's all because of up front. Everything in football starts up front. With Quentin Nelson, he still helps solidify that for the Colts. Well, Quentin Nelson is the first Colts offensive lineman selected to the Pro Bowl since 2010, and that was Jeff Saturday. Jeff Saturday. And he's the first Colts rookie offensive lineman selected to the Pro Bowl since 1983 with Chris Hinton. And you, you, wow. you mentioned there in the trenches, we talk about it every single week when these players are going up 
up against whoever. Mm -hmm. It starts in the trenches, and you cannot deny the difference that Quentin Nelson Huge. has Huge. made for this offense. But another difference maker, I'm sure you know his name, because if you don't know his name, have you been tuning into right. any of the games? The touchdown because maker, he right? See, <laughs> he makes a big play. He scores in almost every single game, and that is tight end Eric Ebron getting his nod to And he has great touchdown celebrations as well. He like does. He practices. He's entertaining. He knows he's, he's going to score. He's entertaining. <laughs> and rightfully so, because right now, what, 12, 12 touchdowns, a coach franchise record for tight ends? Yep. You know, doing a phenomenal job. A guy, again, you know, um, the expectations weren't as high for no. him coming from Detroit, coming over here from Detroit. You know, a lot of people thought that, you know, up until this season, he may have been labeled a, a buzz for not right. producing. But... What goes to show you that he's always been talented, but when you put that talent with coaching and then they're developed and they yeah. nourish uh, the talent that the player has, you know, good things happen. And we see that right now happening for Eric Ebron, a playmaker in the red zone, stretching the football field. A great compliment to Jack Doyle here for the Indianapolis Colts. Yeah, well, even uh, these two are going to be a lot of fun to see at the Pro Bowl, but I think the NFL would have missed out as a whole if they did not have Mr. Personality Eric Ebron yeah. down there just from a content standpoint. So yes, get excited yes. about those two being down there but there were some names left off of this Pro Bowl list that when the list came out I think we were scratching our heads some people around the everybody NFL. I mean it, everybody. it was it was almost trending okay of, of who didn't get it and the number one sitting up there as what is Darius Leonard the rookie linebacker not a first selection for the Pro Bowl he is on that alternate list but that's still up in the air of if he'll get in. Yeah, I mean, and, and it may have been due to his position as far right. as how he's looked at as maybe an outside linebacker. And for the Pro Bowl voting is really a 3-4 defense. And, you know, when you categorize him with Vaughn Miller, the yeah. Davion Clowney, it makes it extremely difficult. Yeah. But he really, he's a great fit for the inside line, linebacker. And, you know, for me, he should have taken the spot of a guy like a CJ, CJ Mosley yeah. from the Baltimore Ravens. When you look at his stat line, there's nobody else in the National Football League more versatile and has a better stat line. And it's not just a stat line. If you actually watch, sit on and watch the film, right, you see how smart he is, you see the instincts, you see the playmaking ability, and you see the production. You know, and for that reason, it's a huge snub that he's not in there in the, in the Pro Bowl. I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure this is going to bring up the bigger discussion you would think that it would of do you change a bit of the way yeah. that these players get in? Because a lot of our players, fans, you did a wonderful job of yes. fan voting and getting a lot of these players into the, you know, as the first, second, or third yeah. just off of fan voting. And then it goes to the players. And you mentioned the difference in defense. Uh, this could potentially be, I mean, he, he's up for defensive rookie of the year. He, he could get that, that all pro hands, nod. Hands down. He better win defensive rookie of the year. There's no question about yeah, that. Yeah, he certainly had a week against Dallas that would uh, – he even got a little wolf howl in there, which, I, which come on, Van, you have Van to Esch, like that. Van, he, he, he stole like that from Van Der Esch. <laughs> a, little, a little nod there because that, that was a head-to-head -head matchup because a lot of people were talking about Van Der Esch as defensive rookie of the year. But I think in the head-to-head -head matchup, we saw right there – who stood out in this matchup, and it was Darius Leonard. Yeah, definitely. Well, there are so many conversations we could have around this, but it is just certainly exciting that there are two going yes. and a list of alternates for this Colts team moving forward. It still hasn't even hit me that I'm a Pro Bowl. Like, it's like we have we have the New York Giants. We have to beat them. We have to, you know, we're trying to, you know, do something very few have done. One in five, you know, eventually, you know, if, hopefully go to the playoffs. That's not, you know, that's not our goal this week, but that's that's everybody's end goal. So. You know, right now we just hopefully beat the Giants. Stay tuned as we shift the show from the right stuff to the Reich stuff, and we have a great conversation with head coach Frank Reich. Colts fans, be sure to visit Colts.com to view the most recent feature of Instant Access, presented by Salesforce. Connect with your customers in a whole new way at Salesforce.com. Where do I go for personal service that's local? Easy. I am the you. Indiana Members Credit Union. For car and home loans or even credit cards, I get expert guidance from someone I know and trust. The service and advice are always excellent. We've been IMCU members for years and we will be for life. Time for a new vehicle? Get pre-approved with no application fee at Indiana Members Credit Union. For all your lending needs, choose IMCU. Indiana Members Credit Union.
Looking for the perfect gift for that special Colts fan in your life? Fans of all ages can look forward to special events and exclusive benefits for members only when they sign up for one of the official Colts fan clubs. The Colts Kids Club and Blue Ladies offer exciting opportunities, including exclusive gear, special event invites, and more. Log on to Colts.com slash clubs to register today. That's Colts.com slash clubs. Become a member today. The Colts Kids Club is presented by Prairie Farms. At Papa John's, when it comes to better ingredients, better pizza, we deliver. And now, in addition to delivering a pizza topped with quality ingredients like real meats with no fillers, fresh sliced Roma tomatoes, onions, and green peppers, and fresh never frozen hand tossed original dough, we're delivering even more value with this special offer. The Colts Fan Feast. Two large, two topping pizzas and a two liter for $22. Promo code BLUE22. 10% of discounted price donated to Riley Children's Foundation. From the Huntington Bank Studio, this is Colts 365. Welcome to the right stuff, but today it's going to be the right stuff. <laughs> Coach, I, uh, I really it. appreciate you coming on. It's, uh, it's cool for me. You know, we interlapped for a couple years when I was playing in 2010 and 11, and now yeah. for me to be sitting in this chair retired and you being the head coach, I think it's awesome. So appreciate you coming on today. Well, thanks for having me, Joe. No question. What impresses me the most about this team is how much they care for each other. Like to me, it seems like it's almost a collegiate environment, not necessarily a professional team. What do you attribute this to? You know what I attribute it to a couple things. Uh, you know, one is it's the leadership, the veteran leadership. That's mm -hmm. the way those players are. Guys like Andrew, Jabal, Al Woods, Adam. I mean, these are all team first guys. Um, that just that's just contagious and when you see your best players your oldest players that that's the way they are and I think everybody's catching that yeah no question you can feel the culture you know that this team has I mean you guys were one in five two months ago how were you able to keep that belief in the locker room to right the ship and win seven out of the last eight well I think you know what you said is part of it, it just the closeness of the team but I, I really do think you know some some has been said about the player only meeting after a one and five. Who knows what was said in there? Right. All I know is I've, I've referred to that, hey, this, this is about the players taking ownership. And mm -hmm. I really think they've done that from day one, but it, sometimes it just takes time. And, and somewhere in that team meeting, we came out of there with a renewed fire and energy that has carried us forward. As the head coach, you know, you have to have a certain level of confidence. I've heard people around town refer that you got some swag to you. <laughs> uh, but I also think you have that humility. How do you balance that between you know being the confident, borderline cocky guy, but also having the humility as kind of the leader of this football team? Well, the humility part's easy in that you know there's always so much to learn in this business. There's so much to learn, and when you're in the most competitive industry, there's always going to be someone to put you in your place. Just when you think you got it going and you think you have this potent offense, you get shut out in a mm -hmm. game that, that just takes you down and it challenges the core. Right? It hurts. Um, and then on the confidence side, I, I just think that comes from deep conviction, a lot of years of experience and belief in, in what you're doing and the way you're doing it, and then the people that are surrounding you. I, I think those are the keys. When you talk about going pregame, you know, three hours before the game, two hours before the game, I'm curious, you got more butterflies when you were a player or now as a head coach? You know, I, I think as a player, uh, you know, as a coach, you know, they always say it's harder to watch your own children playing, you know, it's mm -hmm. a little bit that as a coach. But I, I just have so much confidence in our players uh, in, in what we're doing. And then when we get in that environment, it just, it just you feel the juice flowing. And you just, you just can't wait to get out there and see the guys doing their thing. You mentioned children. I know family is very important to you, as is your faith. How, how fun is it for you to be able to share this experience, this ride with your wife and three daughters? Man, it's, it's, uh, it's what it's all about. It really is for us as a family, you know, having having the opportunity to come back here to Indianapolis where mm -hmm. we were here before, where two of my daughters graduated high school. You know, my wife Linda and I just love this community, really love this community. I've made some really good friends here, connected in many ways. Linda really gets involved in the community and the charities that she can and the relationships. And then our children, our three daughters, you know, Leah, Avery, and Hannah, and two of them married now on game days, they're, they're all here for almost every game. Mm -hmm. And uh, those game days are real special. And even when we're on the road, Joe, it's kind of funny. After the game, you know, they have a, you know, when we're on the road and they got a text string going, obviously when I get on the bus after the game to, right. to go to the airport, 
I turn my phone back on. I get to see all their comments that they made uh -huh. during the game. It's kind of fun. Telling stuff. you all the stuff you did good and bad. Exactly. And, you know, criticizing your play call. They get the armchair quarterback. Oh, from... yeah. I get thumbs up and thumbs down <laughs> sometimes. Yeah. I love it. Well, you know, with family, obviously, there's a great spirit around with Christmas coming up. Uh, what's on your Christmas wish list, you know, moving in to the holidays? What, is, what do you want Santa Claus to bring you and this team? <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. Uh, just one and zero this week against the Giants. You know, it just the, to keep the focus. To keep the focus. It's so easy to say, you know, what you want, and then just make it about something that's out there. And I think what we've learned this year as a team that it's about staying in the present. You know, staying focused day by day, staying focused in the belief and the conviction that we have amongst there. And then whatever is out there for us, uh, we'll, we'll get it. We'll get what we have coming to us. Up next on Colts 365, former Colts quarterback turned NFL analyst Matt Hasselback joins me in studio to play a round of luck or lock. Will the Colts make the playoffs and is Darius Leonard a lock for defensive rookie of the year? We'll ask Matt after the break. Papa John's offers two large, two topping pizzas and a two liter for $20. Promo code BLUE22. 10% of discounted price donated to Riley's Children's Foundation. Are you a news watcher? We watch you every morning. Oh, wow. We can find some great news every morning. We'll give you the real deal news from a real person's perspective. I try to be just as frank on the air as I am right here telling you what's really important. Hi, I'm Morgan Lucas of Lucas Oil Products. At Lucas Oil, we take pride in developing products that work for you and your needs. Lucas Oil Complete Engine Treatment is for gas or diesel engines. You can use it in your motorcycle, snowmobile, tractor, boat, nearly anything that has an engine. You can add this product at an oil change or in between either way. Unlike some other products on the market, you don't have to change your engine's oil after using it. Lucas Oil is proud to be made in America and sold to the world. Lucas Oil. It works. Bullseye Event Group's VIP Colts tailgate presented by Hayes and Son is at every Colts home game at the new Bullseye Event Center across the street from Lucas Oil Stadium. Open premium bar, all-you-can-eat food by Food Network celebrity chef Aaron May, who's featured on diners, drive-ins, and dives. Bullseye Event Center is 9,500 square feet of event space with three retractable glass garage doors that open up to decks and green space with dramatic views of Lucas Oil Stadium and the downtown skyline. For the best game day experience, visit bullseyeeventgroup.com. Where do I go for personal service that's local? Easy. I M C U. Indiana Members Credit Union. For car or home loans, or even credit cards, I get expert guidance from someone I know and trust. The service and advice are always excellent. We've been IMCU members for years, and we will be for life. Right now, you can get up to $1,000 off closing costs on 15-year fixed and adjustable rate mortgages at Indiana Members Credit Union. For all your lending needs, choose IMCU. Indiana Members Credit Union. Are you a news watcher? We watch you every morning. Oh, wow. We can find some great news every morning. We'll give you the real deal news from a real person's perspective. I try to be just as frank on the air as I am right here telling you what's really important. From the Huntington Bank Studio, this is Colts 365. Be block on three, one, two, three. It's a blessing to be out here today. A blessing to play this game that we love. Let's go, baby. Come on, baby. Let's, Let's go. go. Yes, sir. You already know it. Yeah! <laughs> Boys, lock back in. Let's go, man. We got a long ball game. We got a long ball game. Let's finish this. Y'all like not gonna act like I don't do that all the time. So don't even act like that. <laughs> He's in the end zone. Touchdown, Marlon Mack. We got a running back too. He number two five. Hey. We got a running back too. We got an O line too. Love y'all, boys, man. Love you too, man. Hey, hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey! God bless the Sunday night. God bless the Sunday night. Goose egg, goose egg, goose egg. I am joined by a familiar face with me on set. You met him during his playing days, but now you're all over ESPN, traveling everywhere. 
But welcome back to Indianapolis, Max. Thank you. <laughs> it's great to be here. You guys have changed the building quite a bit. Did right? you get lost on your way here? I didn't get lost. It was, I, was, I was amazed. It's really incredible. The athletic training uh, room and just all the different treatment or recovery things that they have here now uh, is really impressive. And the weight room, I mean, uh, that's even upgraded. So yeah. pretty cool. Compared to your playing days, how much more efficient do you think that football team is over there with what they have now? Yeah, well, not just that, but even just talking to them about nutrition and what they're mm -hmm. doing with nutrition, um, different ways to recover in between practices or in between games. So, um, yeah. Well, you could have really played for how many more years? I, I mean, gosh, I, these players now, they're that's spoiled. That's what I said to Andrew, and Andrew goes, mm, I think you maxed out. I was like, wow. <laughs> because of your tie with Luck and you helping him out, we're going to play a little game here, okay? I have okay. four um, things I'm going to say. They are statements, and we're going to play a little bit of Luck or Lock. Okay. okay. So it pretty much is if you agree with the statement, it's a Lock. Uh, or if they're going to need a little bit of Luck on that one, uh, that can be your answer. So let's go with the first one here. Darius Leonard is Defensive Rookie of the Year. Lock. I like it. Absolute lock. There's reasons why the media and people aren't talking about him right now, but it's mostly because they just don't know. You yeah. haven't had the nationally televised games, um, you know, the Sunday nights, the Thursday nights, the, the, the Monday nights, but uh, I think that's a lock. I feel good about that one. Yeah, I, I completely agree. All right, good. We're one for one. Let's go. Andrew Luck is Comeback Player of the Year. So I'm going to say it's not it's not a lock and it's not luck because there could be something better. Okay. Like, they, you know, he could, he's at least, I think that's the floor. Okay. Comeback Player of the Year is probably the floor. All right, let's go. Colts make the playoffs. Luck or lock here? I think it's, I think it's a lock. Now, they're okay. going to need a little bit of luck, but, um, but, they also control their own destiny. Do you believe that a one in five team could be still talking about this? I mean, that was a rather wild start for the Colts. Amazing, they started out one in five. People are talking about all kinds of things about next year's draft. <laughs> I'll say this though, um, I was the quarterback of a seven and nine Seattle team that had a first year head coach that was in transition. We ended up winning the division with a losing record and hosted the defending world champ New Orleans Saints mm -hmm. in the first playoff game and we beat them. And then we went on the road to Chicago and uh, we ended up losing that game, but we, we really could have won it. Yeah. Had we won that game, we would have been hosting Jeez. the NFC Championship game as a 7-9 team. So I think once you get in the playoffs, it doesn't really matter um, how you started or what adversity you faced. You just got to get hot at the right time. I like that. Hear that Colts fans, it's a lock with a little bit of luck there. And then the final one here, this is the toughest one. Will Matt Hasselbeck ever host the Angel Oak Book Club again? Yes. Okay. Yes. That's, I, that's a lock. A lock. It's a beloved holiday tradition and a favorite among Colts players. Coming up next, the Colts visit Riley Hospital for Children to help spread Christmas cheer and deliver gifts to those who won't be able to make it home for the holidays. We'll be right back. Woo! The Indianapolis Colts would like to congratulate the Daymar MVP for the Colts versus Cowboys game, Alex Duell. A message from your local Meyer. Local sports are a victory for our entire community. Building leaders, teaching integrity, sparking our economy. That's why Meyer is proud to sponsor local sports throughout Indiana. Because when we support the home team, we all win. At Huntington, we're always thinking of ways to help customers. So when we heard they needed help tracking spending, we invented the self-driving cart. Then we simplified, presenting Huntington Heads Up. You set the monthly amounts you want to spend on groceries and we'll send you a heads up to keep you on track. Looking out for you by looking out for your money. Huntington, welcome. Looking for the perfect gift for that special Colts fan in your life? Fans of all ages can look forward to special events and exclusive benefits for members only when they sign up for one of the official Colts fan clubs. The Colts Kids Club and Blue Ladies offer exciting opportunities, including exclusive gear, special event invites, and more. Log on to Colts.com slash clubs to register today. That's Colts.com slash clubs. Become a member today. The Colts Kids Club is presented by Prairie Farms. This is the middle, a place where people come together, look each other in the eye, and get to work, where people believe in more, like they can always do a little more, give a little more, and find ways for their families to have a little more. 
We were born and raised here, and for over 80 years, we've done whatever we can to help people have and do a little more. Where do I go for personal service that's local? Easy. I am you. Indiana Members Credit Union. For car and home loans, or even credit cards, I get expert guidance from someone I know and trust. The service and advice are always excellent. We've been IMCU members for years, and we will be for life. Time for a new vehicle? Get pre-approved with no application fee at Indiana Members Credit Union. For all your lending needs, choose IMCU. Indiana Members Credit Union. It's now time for the Forum Question of the Week. When was the last time the Colts defeated both teams from New York in the same season? The Colts knocked off both the Giants and Jets in 2006, the year they went on to win Super Bowl 41. Forum Credit Union, helping members live their financial dreams. From the Huntington Bank Studio, this is Colts 365. Welcome back to Colts 365. We're going to leave you with our final thoughts. So for the Speedway Scouting Report, Marlon, what do we need to see this weekend to keep the playoff dreams alive? Well, you know, this, this is a bit of a dangerous game, right? You know, you have a team um, started the season off terribly, yep. but as of late, even though they lost last week, they've won four out of the last six games. So I think it's, it's important that we get off to a quick start. You know, don't give them any life, right. any hope, thing that they can play with us on Sunday. Um, that's, on, that's on offense coming out. Continuing the, the same trend, I think last week we were balanced, right. you know, with, with the passing game, the running game, and we dominated up front. More of that. Um, defensively, not giving up any big plays and, and creating turnovers, because I think that's, that's been a really big problem for New York Giants right now. Yeah. Eli Manning, he's a turnover machine. <laughs> yes, 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 he is. He's the man when it comes to turnovers this season. And, we should be able to get some of those turnovers. Um, and when we get those turnovers, let's capitalize. I think we've talked about it numerous yeah. times. When we get turnovers, let's turn them into points, turn them into touchdowns, either field goals or touchdowns. So a fast start offensive, de offensively, defensively, and dominate up front. And I think if we do that, everything will take care of itself. Well, the Colts are trying to give Colts fans a Christmas gift by keeping the playoff dreams alive and getting a win against the New York Giants. But we appreciate you joining us. But before we go, don't change the channel yet because this is the best part. There are some Colts players that go to Raleigh Children's Hospital for yes. caroling every year. So we appreciate you joining us. We are leaving you with a gift of our own. We'll see you next week. Hi, I'm John Corbin. Huntington Bank is proud to be the official bank of the Indianapolis Colts. Welcome to this Colts 365 in the Community Moment, presented by Huntington Bank. I think we start with Dr. Halls and just go through. It's so easy. Down we now are dear barrels, la 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 la. Do you mind if we sing Deck the Halls? We warmed up on it already, so we know we've kind of got it down. <laughs> we think we're pretty good at it. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, here we go. Deck the Halls with Father Polly, la 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 la.